This is the Philco 49901. What an unusual radio. My friend Chuck restored this radio and he did an excellent job. That big round cylinder that's on the right, that's where the secretary's foot would operate the radio. Yes, this went under the desk so you could operate it with a foot. You press down on that bar to change the channels or stations and you rotate it to turn it on and off and also volume. And here Chuck is holding up the radio. That's of course the bottom of the radio and We'll take a closer look at those stickers. In the upper left, that's where you tune the radio. You have six different stations that you can tune in. The top uh, adjustment is the coils, and the bottom is the variable capacitors. Here's the wiring diagram of this radio, and in the upper left you can see the six variable capacitors and the six variable coils. And that should be enough really for most places. Here's a look at the chassis of this radio. You can see the speaker at the top left and in the lower right is the tuning. There's a little bit closer look at that part and if you look just above the tuning that's on the right you can see the rotary switch that when you step on that bar it rotates and selects the tank circuit for a particular station here's a closer look at that and if you look at the top you can see a light that is pointed toward that umbrella looking thing. Well, that's different colors. And there's six different colors for each station. So that way, when you look down from the desk down to the floor, you could see that color and the secretary would know what station the radio is playing. Pretty amazing. Here's a look at that bar and cylinder that you step on to change the channels also on off and volume. There's a little bit closer look at that. What a really different idea. Yeah, Here we have a 1939 an Philco. Actually, it's a floor model. Yeah. Not really, but it goes on the floor. The unit is called a secretary. Built for, of course, the office. So the secretary could operate it by the foot. Turn it on and off. This is the on and off band volume control yeah. switch. Those things break. And um, that is a six here. I actually channel this unit on it. But I'm actually kind of you can tune six channels like into it. I tend to see to Pre expand just pre I deadly force to That's all it picks up. It and is, uh, this is WZTV. switch the channels. Brandon you take your foot and turn it on a different channel, which is pre-tuned. Don't hide the light. Well, it's changed. Yeah, there you go. Changing. It changes the color per station. I don't have. The antenna doesn't pick up quite as much 
in this location, but I think you should absolutely to you get the uh, you should be able to blow gesture the what it does in the operation. Someone who is a predator. And it goes so on the floor beneath a desk. On that. I hope that passes. And whether yeah. the secretary chooses um, or not to turn it on, hmm. she just slides her foot over it, turns it off, paper, comes in, sits down on the chair. Card. Turns it on and adjusts her station, whatever she wants to put on. Step through all the colors. The colors? Yeah, just step through that so we can get all the colors and make sure that they can see all those. There was blue. That's so interesting. Red. Green. Orange. Purple. So that's and back to yellow. Very neat radio for Phil Cole to build to uh, supply the demands of a secretary without operating with her hands. Where did you get the radio? Bought it at a ham show in Mebane, North Carolina. First time I've ever seen one, and uh, it was in very good shape. Actually, it did not work, of course, so put new capacitors, electrolytics in it, and repainted it. It was in pretty rough shape looking, so that's the way it turned out. Beautiful. Very rare operating secretary radio. Well, thanks for showing us that radio. That is very unique. Thanks for watching.